Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to give you an overview and introduction on how to use the AI functionality inside Rapid Composer. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do follow the instruction on how to support the channel contained in each video description. Thank you again. Okay, so we are inside Mac OS, so a MacBook Air and one chip, and we have Rapid Composer running. I'd like to start saying that I have already configured the AI. In order to do that, you need to go to settings and then select the miscellaneous and then find the AI function section. And then in there, you have to input your open AI uh, key and of course select a model and more information on that on the open ai website when you have done that let's create a new composition we click here and select new composition and there we are now let's uh, um, cre create more space on the screen so let's uh, move these to the right let's click on this truck right click and then go to this cog symbol and select remove truck or you can simply click on the delete button on the keyboard. Okay, next we right click here where it says AI, right click in there, and then we select uh, a number of options. We can select a number of options. The first one is genre, so you can select from pop, rock, jazz, blues, a lot of different selection, which is great. Next, you can select the mood, joyful, romantic, I like peaceful, but you have lots of other selections that you can use. Next, we can select the complexity, for example, a basic triad, seven chords, extended chord, altered chords, you have a lot of different options. Let's try seven chords. Then next, you can set it to stick to the scale, click in here, and then you set the key here. Really nice. And then here the scale, in this case, major will do. Underneath, you have the model temperature and max reply tokens. Don't worry about those, but they're related to the model that we are using. Click outside and then this time left click on AI. Here we can now create a called a progression, a bass line, or a, ba or a phrase for a bass, a phrase for a melody, etc, etc. The first thing you will need to do is to create a chord progression. So here you can set up the structure, simple, typical, complex, and you can set up a progression. And then when you're done, click here where it says suggest chord progression, which will call uh, the um, as you see, waiting for reply from the AI. And here you have a chord progression. Now you can click on each chord to preview them. Really great. You can click here and drag, you can drag that chord progression back to Rapid Composer, or you have a number of options here where you can continue to edit, for example, preview and edit chord progression and the chord selector, the you have additional options as well, like save the progression, the progression browser. Okay, the third one, which is about adding codes to code progression rules. And then the last one, which is what I'm going to use, I'm going to say, put it as a composition in all lines. And what you can see here on the master track, you can see the code progression, right? Which has been set. If you don't see enough information, go here until the cursor changes and then you can expand the death master track to see better. Next, we go back to the AI again. We go to this section here. Now it says length for uh, for uh, for bits in a bar. Yeah, that's great. That is the phrase length required. The type, let's start with some chords. Now it gives you an option, the only one as an absolute note. Instruction, you can give additional instruction to the AI, which is great. And display an explanation of what it, it creates. So we click up here where it says suggest phrase for genre, mood and complexity. Now you wait um, for a moment and uh, very soon you will see here a call progression. Again, similar um, um, options here. I'm going to click on this one and then I'm going to insert it as a new track. And there it is. Click on this phrase and then let's expand these to cover the four um, bars. Now let's click play. Now let's stop there, enable the looping. With this track selected, click here, right click again, go back to this uh, view, 
and change the instrument. So for example, why not? Let's go to discovery and then we click edit and now we click here on the programs and then we go and trying to find uh, a, a part that we we might like right let's try this butter part let's make sure to check the master volume and let's click play that sounds great okay let's close the window and let's go back to the ai now let's change here from chords to bass if we want a phrase for a bass we set it to be chord relative but it can also be scale relative in terms of constraining to the chords and scale we leave the same instruction and then we click here to suggest a phrase um, okay for the settings that we have created and there it is click in here again and insert here as a new track and there it is now we select that phrase here we are going to hold down the control button click here and hold here and drag on the edge so you see that phrase repeated and following through as well the different chords now click here again on the track right click change an instrument let's go for a, a discovery again vst free instance number two click edit we want a base click here on the programs and let's choose for example this base and let's try it and see what it sounds like <laughs> Perfect, sounds really, really nice. Okay, back to the AI assistant here. Change from bass to melody. Still chord relative, leave the same instruction for these for the purpose of this tutorial. Click suggest here and wait for the AI to generate a bit of a melody. Now we wait, hmm, not that great. So let's uh, click here where it says chat with ask new question or follow up. It opens up this window here which you can expand here, right? And it gives you the preview there with the explanation. You can click here where it says type request and we can write, make it more interesting with uh, uh, more movement and press enter. We wait for a reply from the AI and see what happens. Of course, this is not probably what we were expecting. So let's try again. Um, uh, the melody is too flat. Okay, and we still have the same one. Well, let's uh, close this. Let's go back to the AI here, right? And let's click here on suggesting a new phrase. And actually, this one is much better. Let's go back to the AI again and let's say, uh, on the chat, of course, uh, make it more interesting. Of course, um, you have to understand that this is an AI enabled and you have different type of responses. Of course, in this case, you can see it has elaborated on a better melody. So remember that. Click here and let's select insert new track. Close that window, select that phrase, control and expand that as well, actually don't like um, that so let's go back here and uh, use control and let's expand it like so back at the beginning right click in here select a new instance of discovery edit this go to a different program like these leads check on the volume rewind press play <music> So I hope you agree with me that this is a fantastic new addition. It makes Rapid Composer much, much more compelling. It's great to see AI embedded inside uh, um, the tool. It's really great to remember it's uh, AI. So sometimes, as you've seen a moment ago, what you get generated back, you might have to re-ask the AI to suggest a new melody before you continue 
uh, chatting with the AI to change it. But um, it's great to see this inside the Rapid Composer. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the overview. And as always, see you next time. Bye.